Okay, so the next joint we're going to do is we're going to put a thread into LCS, low carbon steel. The joints you need to be familiar with. Straight connectors, 90 degree elbows, equal T's and unions. Now notice that the edges on these fittings have a rounded edge. They are not made of steel, they are made of malleable iron. And the beaded edge indicates that they have a parallel thread and it also adds strength to the end of the fitting. Okay. So firstly, I'm going to pop the steel into the, the vise. <clears throat> the two methods you can cut the steel with. One is a hacksaw, the other is a wheel cutter. Hacksaw is faster, not as straight. Wheel cutter, slower. We'll always get a straight cut. Now just like normal pipe cutters, when using a steel cutter, so when you place it onto the steel, the pipe sits between the rollers, not at the back. And then you clamp it onto the pipe, position it on the pipe, and then nip it tight. Don't crush it, it's steel we're cutting through, not copper. Nip it tight, pull it round. Then it's another nip, and round we go. And this is why it's slower, but straighter. cut through the steel and then just deburr the ends yep. to put the thread onto the pipe we need a stock and the die we're dealing with half inch Check on the die and it will tell you that it says half inch. Quick physical check, make sure that all the screws are in position, it's nice and tight. All the teeth are in, and then from the top, just pop the die in, in position. Onto the side of it, right, there's a little lever with an arrow on it. This indicates which way the ratchet is going. We want to start with pointing to the right. You notice that I'm wearing gloves when I'm working with steel, because we're going to now start using oil. And oils and greases, you know, you must wear gloves whenever we're working with steel. We need to lubricate the end of the pipe. Two reasons. One, to keep the pipe cool, so we can cut a thread into it. Okay, so it acts as a cutting agent. This is low carbon steel. These teeth a high tensile steel. If we didn't lubricate the pipe and we started cutting the thread into it, the steel would heat up, expand into the teeth and we'd just be peeling the threads back off again. So we're going to lubricate the pipe. Make sure the ratchet's the right way around. We lean into the pipe, we push in and at the same time push down. Put your body weight behind it to get the teeth to bite into the steel.
Now every two or three threads, we can't go all the way and do the whole joint. Every two or three threads, we need to lift up, reverse the ratchet. Do a complete turn. Put the ratchet back the right way. And go back to where we were. As the teeth are cutting into the pipe, swarf is building up. It's little shavings of metal that we need to get out. So by reversing and then coming back, we'll loosen the swarf and throughout all the holes, the swarf drops out into the bucket and doesn't build up and start damaging the teeth. Before we start threading again, re-lubricate. But it's a taper thread. I don't need to push so hard at this end now. The teeth are bit into the pipe and it's now just going to pull itself on, forming the taper thread. And maybe two or three threads, always reverse. Relubricate every time. So we've come to the end of the die, that is it. Which is roughly 13 millimeter thread. <coughs> Reverse it and take it off under control. When it becomes loose, push the die forward. Don't flick, right? just twist it slowly till it releases. There is a half inch BSP thread. And there's little bits of metal on it, so we need to clean it with a wire brush. Be careful which way you use the brush because the bristles will flick and start flicking bits of metal into your face. Then we're going to use PTFE. We start at the outside edge. We start there. Okay. Two or three turns. Then 50% overlap. Two or three turns. 50% overlap. That is the joint now ready to receive a fitting. Now with T's and elbows, we we'll line up the joint and we get it finger tight. A common mistake is people now use tools. We'll use the tool on the fitting carry on tightening it up. That is bad practice, don't do that. This is malleable iron, and by the tool twisting, it will squash one side of the fitting. <coughs> Use an off-cut of pipe. It's already got a thread on it, and by putting that into there, I've now got a lever, and the fitting will remain round. And it's nice and easy to take round, and just tighten up.
And that is the fitting on there, nice and tight. Other fittings you'll be using. Do the same with T's for elbows. Always use an off cutter pipe. But with unions, they're different. They come in two halves. With T's and elbows, you have to work from left to right because we screw in a right hand thread. Unions allow you to come from two opposite directions. Now the heads of the unions are different. One has threads on it, one has a beveled edge. Going to the end with the beveled edge, the nut must go on the pipe first, then the head goes on using a spanner, not grips. It's a hexagonal edge, tighten up with a spanner. So when that's now nice and tight, the two come together with those threads. Don't put PTFE on those threads. If you look on the beveled edge, this is where you can use jointing paste or PTFE. So as those two ends are pulled together, you can see where the joint is made tight. Points remember when using unions, they must be square. Any angle or offset, it will not seal. They have to come together nice and square.